Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do an iconic look that every mature woman can do. It just depends on how you approach this. We're going to touch a little bit on Pamela Anderson and going makeup free at Paris Fashion Week. And I hope you really enjoy this look. Are you ready? Let's get this beauty started. All right, ladies, I want to show you a beautiful iconic look that everyone can do. It just depends on if you want to. I know you're sitting there and you're going to say, well, when, I'm telling, when I tell you what this is, you're going to say, oh no, it doesn't look good on me. Or, oh no, I wouldn't do that. Or I don't like that. But you've never tried. And it reminds me, I was at Nordstrom this weekend and this woman came up to me and said, oh, I love your hair, but I could never go gray. I said, well, have you tried it? She goes, no, I just know it wouldn't look good on me. I said, how do you know? I wrote the book Beauty Reinvented 2018 because of women like you that said you already took yourself out of the game. You don't even know what it looks like. I said, I think it would look beautiful on you. And guess what? If you go and you hate it, you dye it. The fact is, is that women limit themselves immediately because A, you're fearful. B, you don't want to do it. See, you think that it's going to be too hard, too long of a journey. It's uncomfortable. Yes, I told her, I said, I was black and white. It was really uncomfortable. I felt very unattractive. But I knew if I didn't keep going through it, that I basically wouldn't evolve. I would make it harder for myself because I would diet and then start over again. I told her, I said, this is the most beautiful part. The part where it's like all messy and it's like doesn't look good and what have you. And it's not because of how I look, ladies. It's an attitude because I could have easily folded so many times and said, you know what? Not for me. Ooh, this doesn't look good. It didn't look good. That's the whole point. It doesn't look good, but the self-development and the things you learn about yourself and the confidence that you build and the fact that you don't care what people say or think or anything is so powerful. And that brings me to another thing. I'm going to put on my Rose 31, um, Perfume, oh, just really, I got to tell you, it elevates your mood immediately. Any kind of fragrance. And yes, I love fragrance. I love hair mist. I love fragrance. It is what it is. So we want to talk about when we're getting ready to, I'm going to be using, let's prep the skin with, this is on my desk and I have been really loving it. It's the La Mer, the Lifting Firming Serum. Yes, it is pricey, but this is something that I just actually did a partnership with La Mer over on TikTok and this was one of my products and I have loved using it. I've been using La Mer for over 10 years. As you know, on this channel, I've given you dupes. There are dupes that I have mentioned. I did a whole dedicated video on a dupe for the La Mer, Creme de La Mer. It is all here on my channel, my library. Please look and search because you'll find it. So this brings me to the whole big news headlines of Pamela Anderson going makeup free at Paris Fashion Week. If you don't know who Pamela Anderson is, she was a big icon, actress, in the 90s on Baywatch. She got her kind of start uh, with Playboy, etc. It's not about that, ladies. Let's concentrate on the fact that she went makeup free at the biggest event in Paris for fashion and beauty. The whole thing is very interesting to me. I don't look at it on the surface, like really what else is going on with her. She just had a big memoir come out on our documentary on Netflix. I haven't watched it yet. I will probably kind of insightful on really what's going on. But one of the things that I found with my research is that her makeup artist died in 2019. This was her, you know, beloved makeup artist of breast cancer. And ever since then, she hasn't really wanted to wear makeup. So I think that it's a lot of different things that has happened to her personally that brought her to the point where it was like, you know what, it's always been about her body and her face and her image. And I think that she probably, my thoughts, just got so tired of having to put on this persona or this someone else that she said when she got to Paris and she was putting on all these, you know, beautiful designs, she felt like, I don't want the makeup to compete with the outfit. In my mind, I feel that makeup can complement your outfit. I think it brings it all together. But maybe the space she's in, she just wanted to be like free and to be rebellious, which she said. And I admire that. I support that. And she doesn't have stylists. She said she doesn't have handlers to Vogue Paris, which or Vogue France, which was really, you know, quite rebellious in itself, that she doesn't have anyone styling. She did it all herself. She pulled out her vintage, you know, designs to the, to the show she was going at. And I'm going to be using my eye primer. This is my first step I always do to neutralize out my eyes. You can see that I have all this pigmentation, base of the lash up to the brow bone. You know, I think it's funny that this is making news, right? The, the woman wants to go without makeup. And everybody's like, not outraged though. I looked at all, I watched so many videos the other night on TikTok. I wanted to see what people were saying in the comments. Everyone was so supportive. Like finally, so refreshing. I'm so happy. And you know, 
It takes a lot of courage to do that, just like going gray. You're going against the grain, right? Some people might think, oh my gosh, she doesn't look presentable or she's just letting herself go. No, she's actually being herself showing up her real face. I mean, I thought it was pretty incredible. I thought it was interesting. I think there's more behind the scenes than her just not wearing makeup. I think there's a lot more going on in my mind. So now we have primed the eyes. Let's go with a little Fiercely Smooth. This is my face primer. Meanwhile, I'm talking about not wearing makeup and we're doing makeup, but guess what? It doesn't mean you don't wear makeup. It can mean, you know what? Today I don't feel like wearing makeup and that's my choice. And it doesn't matter what anyone thinks, society, what have you. I think it's very powerful. I think that women should be doing what they wanna do. It's funny, I had a comment below my Instagram. I put up a, a video of me just working in the warehouse, something I never, I never, ladies, never thought I'd be wrapping palettes and making palettes and breaking palettes down. I mean, it's been very physically and emotionally like taxing for me because it's not something that I, I do, but I have to do it. I have to get it done. So we did, but I was showing all of this behind the scenes. It's not glamorous and I, you know, no one really cares, but the point is, is that I really do care. So that's why I put it up and this is what I'm doing. This is my life. And it's about making it better for my customer. You, by being able to get your shipping faster and you know all of that, this is why I'm doing it. So we're not shipping in-house anymore. We're having someone else do it. And it's been a project that's been so overwhelming to me. So somebody wrote, I don't know if it was a man or a woman, but someone wrote like the men come in and do the real work in the warehouse. And I was like, oh God, people are so like, so out of touch. I have all female staff. We all do the heavy lifting. The only thing I don't do, because I choose not to do it, is drive the forklift. My husband does that for me and moves the pallets around. And then I tell him where we need to go and what to do. He's so good at organizing everything and being very efficient. And then we wrap the pallets. We are lifting all the boxes. We don't have men. I could hire men if I wanted to, but guess what? We're capable of it. And it's not men are better than women. Women are better than men. It has nothing to do with that. This is a female owned company. This is my company. I choose to have women and women are fully capable of doing this. And I'm thrilled to hire women. And that's just how it is. I'm going to be using the rosy light drops from Chanel. I want to have a little glow to my skin because I feel like my skin's very depleted. Rosy drops are on. You can see that it illuminates my skin really nicely. So now when I put my BB cream on, it'll all look really pretty. And we're going to keep it very simple on the eyes. I'm going to be using Cabana, but just the middle color, just a really nice little light color. I am coming out with matte shadows in the first quarter of next year, 2024. And I want this to be just really simple. So I just want to have a little reflective on my lids here. I'll do some liner, but it's all about the lip. It's all about this beautiful red lip called Confidence. I named it Confidence because you have to have confidence wearing it. And again, you can't limit yourself by saying, I can't wear a red lip. If you have thin lips, find the right color, line your lips properly. If you have feathering with your lips, get our clear invisible, it's called crystal clear invisible lip liner. It'll help, it'll make a border and help with the feathering of your lipstick. It is really an important aspect to really embrace your beauty. Try new colors, get outside of the box, wear the brighter color. If you hate it, great just throw it away, figured it out, and you take it a step down. You don't have to go as bold or as bright. Maybe something a little bit more than you normally would in the pink family or maybe the purple or the mauve or what have you. But I want you to really experiment. I want you to, to not keep doing the same thing because you're gonna get the same result. And if you want to have something that's more powerful or wanna have range with your makeup, this is why I'm showing it to you. I'm going to curl my lashes. Lashes are curled, very important step. When you're doing very simple makeup, you want those lashes curled. I'm going in with my dark chocolate waterproof eyeliner. I did use my sharpener that I have created for you. This is made in Germany. I wanna show you something though. This little tab, it's like a toothpick, comes out at the bottom. You take the top off and it scrapes off your shavings. You have to pull it out straight. You can't lift it or whatever. It's plastic, it's going to break. So you just have this little tool, pull it out, scrape off the, the shavings, and then you put it back in. So you wanna make sure that you are dumping out the shavings because if you go, if it's totally full and you go to sharpen your pencil, it will not sharpen. It'll start skipping, what have you. You don't want that. So that's just a little, kind of like little tip with my pencil sharpener. So we're going to take the dark chocolate, go right on the lash line. So you have that really nice light eye. Then you're going to really define the eyes, 
close to the lash line. And again, you know, I love to lift up at the end. I'm going to, because I can't see, I have to see here, but I don't want it to focus on this. So I'm just showing you that you taper down, but at the very end, you flick this up. So you are lifting the eye. You can come out a little bit if you want to. If you have more hooded eyes, maybe you want to kind of come a tiny bit lower and then bring it out. If you do have two hooded eyes, skip that step. It's not going to look good because you know that it's very challenging when the eye comes starts coming down. Just concentrate on the lash line and thickening that up. And then if you do have to do a little contour, if you have that hooded eye, you can do that. Take a matte color, like a little bit of a brown or a taupe and go above where you have the hood. So it's going to give you that receding that's going to make you look like you have that contour above. I've done plenty of videos on the hooded eyes. I show it on my Fierce Aging series too. Lots of tools for you. Even though I don't have what you have, I do it on the ladies on the Fierce Aging series so you can actually see it on other women with other eye shapes and other issues. One of my eyes is shaped differently. So this one is always a little bit lower and this one goes up a little bit higher. And I say, that's fine because I'm never going to get it perfect. Asymmetrical our faces are, and there is no such thing as perfection. So I just say, okay, it looks like it's pretty even. We're good. So now I'm going to go in with my volume up. This is my mascara that I designed to have these tiny little teeth that will grip your lashes. When we are a mature woman, we struggle with having thinner lashes, shorter lashes. And I want you to have the opportunity to have a wand that you go to the base of your lash you wiggle back and forth and literally it's like a comb. It like grabs all of your lashes. So you're going to get that false lash look without having to struggle with a big brush that just rolls over your lashes and is not taking all of those babies into account and giving you this beautiful lash look. Now with this wand, since I made it all round, you can roll it. You can do it vertically and actually kind of really piece out your lashes. So there's a lot of versatility to this mascara. I love the fact that I see all of you writing in about how you love this mascara. It makes me so happy. I spent so much time with the engineers on this mascara, but it's amazing. Mascara is on. Now it is time to perfect the skin. I'm going to use a little Just Peachy because I do feel... I do feel I need to brighten the under eye. And then I'm going to go over with my creamy concealer, which is launching this month. So I'm going to first color correct this. You can see there's grays and blues. This is from, it's not even about not sleeping and what have you. It's about just running and trying to go full speed ahead, nonstop and stress. It's really, it's really stress. So I'm going to press it in to my eye area here. My concealer doesn't have to do so much work. So I'm already lifting the color here. So if you're struggling with that gray, that blues, and you feel like when you put your concealer over, it just turns into like a muddy mess, you want to color correct first. Again, I want to preface that this is very creamy, but if your skin's really dry or you haven't prepped it properly, it won't go on smoothly. It's going to go on feeling like it's going to be just not this creamy formulation. This is exactly what you get. I prime my skin. You can warm it up if you want to a little bit on the hand first and then take it off and put it on depending on, but you have to prep your skin. If you have very, very dry skin, if it's not moisturized or primed, you are going to see a big difference with your application. Just Peachy is on taking my creamy concealer. This is really wonderful uh, for just brightening up the skin. I'm using light and then I'll do it in the inner corner there. And then I literally just roll it out like this. That's why I love this wand because it's a dome wand holds all the product at the top for the most part where we want to really be precise. So in this little inner corner, and then I put it flat and I just go like that and I get the perfect amount. So I don't have to do too much. It's not a big dome. Like I see a lot of other companies where I would put it on and I was like, this is a lot of concealer that's happening right now. And I feel like I have too much makeup on. So I wanted you to have control, but I also wanted you to feel like you weren't putting on a ton right away. You can always add. So I'm going to take my foundation buffing brush. I'm going to work it in to my under eye area. Concealer is on. I'm going to take a little bit of my BB cream. This is going to be in light. BB cream is on looking fabulous. Now let's just touch up the skin to warm it up just a tad. I'm going to take my creme brulee. This is my hybrid bronzer and it's very, very nice and soft and silky. 
I'm going to give a little bit of depth to my cheekbone area here, just a little bit. I want to warm up my skin just a tad, put it on the high points and then maybe my jawline. Now you can take, Unapologetic is a lip liner I designed to go with confidence, but you can take Cameo, you can take Silk. It just depends on what you want to use. I'm going to use Cameo today. This is one of my favorite lip liners and I'm using confidence. So this is about keeping the eye neutral, nice definition with the liner. I'm using dark chocolate, not black. So it's a little bit softer and I'm going to come like bring the whole look alive with the red lip. Now I'm going to show you some options. If you feel like it's too much, if you're just starting out with doing a bold lip, let me just first line my lips. Lips are lined. I'm going to take my confidence lipstick and I'm going to apply it. So we have confidence on now. Yes, it's a bold red. It's a berry that I did. I didn't do it too bright or too dark, but you can take a Q-tip and really perfect around the lip. Another great idea is you can take your concealer brush, put it into your BB cream or your concealer and really perfect around the lip once you have it on. You can also take a tissue if you want to. I don't have a tissue in front of me, but let's see if my cotton will not transfer to my lip. But you can take cotton or tissue, preferably, and take off a little bit of the lip, mute it down, make it a little bit more approachable for you. And then we could add just a little bit of blush if we want to. But again, I really just perfected my skin added just a little bit of that liner to my eyes, mascara, and did a really beautiful lip. This lip can fall into so many different categories for you. It can be the orangey red, a pinky red, blue based red, depending on. You can push it with what color you love now and make it a little bit bolder or brighter. I just really encourage you to do that. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go with Palm Beach. I'm gonna do a little Palm Beach just to give some balance here. I don't have anything on my cheeks and I feel like I should. It's a little bit of radiance there. Now, if you have glasses like I do, if you put your glasses on, you have that lip that's basically coming out. You don't have a lot of makeup on, but you do look like you're put together. I think that this is just such a wonderful tip for mature women to add color to their face with their lip, to really stretch and get outside the box, to really explore your makeup and to stop saying, I can't wear that color. I won't do that because I don't, I don't think that I'm going to look good in it. If you don't think you're going to look good in it, you don't know until you do it. And you can for sure say, you know what? I tried it and it wasn't for me. That's fine. But what I want you to stop doing is saying that you it won't look good on you, but you haven't even tried it. That's like my biggest thing with mature women. You already take yourself out of the game before you've even tried it. So you really don't know. It goes with gray hair. It goes with your makeup. It's time to get into the game and say, you know what? I'm going to try this. I'm going to try a bold color. I'm going to see how I really feel. Wow. I surprised myself. I really like it. Or I got so many compliments or this really makes my face come alive. That's what I want you to do. So you absolutely know for sure. Yes, it works for me. No, it doesn't. And then move on. So ladies, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed just a little bit of simple makeup, bold lip. You can do it. Let me know in the comments below. Are you going to try it? Have you tried it? You love it. You never thought you did, or if you don't like it, you tried it. And now you're moving on. Let me know. And until my next video, I'll see you later.